Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're going to talk about Erin Condren hits and misses as far as any accessories and things that I've gotten in my surprise boxes and um, some a few things about her planner. So we're going to talk about Erin Condren hits and misses. We're going to hopefully go through this pretty quickly and so some of this stuff is from surprise boxes. I'm going to tell you, I have my surprise box cards right here and I'll tell you if it's a sneak peek or an exclusive because if it's a sneak peek, it's going to be available on her website. And if it's an exclusive, it will never be available on her website. And I have gotten three surprise boxes so far. This was my first one. This was fall 2017. I have gotten the winter 2017 and then the spring 2018. So I have gotten three consecutive boxes, but those are the only three boxes I've gotten so far. So let's talk about some of these things. This zipper bag came in the spring 2018 box. The zipper bag was, let me see, it is a sneak peek. They actually call it a pencil pouch and it will, it should be available on her site if it's not now very soon. And I would say this is a hit. I like it, it holds pens or pencils well, so it's extra long to hold pencils because a lot of the pen bags are not extra long. So that's why this one is called a pencil pouch. It can hold pencils as well as pens. If I was in college and had a backpack, this would be great to throw in there because it's really slim. It's a slick material, so if you spill water on it, it's gonna be fine. It's easy to zip and unzip, and it will hold a lot of writing utensils. So this was definitely a hit will be on her website and was from the spring 2018 seasonal surprise box. Okay, these were from all these cards I wanted to talk about. They came in this um, book, which is available on her site right now. It is kind of like a gift wrapping book. It came in, which box? It came in the winter box. Sorry, I wasn't sure. And it is on her site right now. All right, so let's look at what this is. This came with some wrapping paper, which I have used a little bit of. Actually, my son used it when he went to a birthday party um, for a girl. So he's used the wrapping paper. I haven't used it. It comes with all these little punch-out tags. They're really cute, but I don't know that I'm going to use the punch-out tags that much but they're really cute if I wrapped up gifts and tied those on there and they're good quality and even on the back they have some decoration. I love all the gifting stickers that came in here. Those are great. More punch out tags. Um, I have used one and then more stickers and I really like those. I'm sure I'll use them. More stickers. As you can see, I've used some of the stickers, more gifting stickers. So a lot of gifting stickers. This did not come in here. These were Christmas labels from the, these were from the winter surprise box also, and I really liked those. They are not sold on her site though. So that was an exclusive. Sorry, I didn't mean to show that one actually. But here's the wrapping paper that came with it. It's reversible, her painted petals right here. And so you get black and white on one side and the colored, and then her mid-century circles. And I think I'm saying, I'm remembering the name right. And you get black and white and the colored. I just love the colored of the mid-century circles. You also get this floral, which I can't remember the name of it, and reversed in black and white, maybe floral ink. Can't remember. Okay, so here's the thing. Those are all great things to use. Those were, those were great. In the back, this held envelopes back here, those teeny little pockets. And what came in those were these envelopes. And then these cards you had to tear out of the book. The cards are cute, but I do not like how you have to tear them out because the perforated edge just makes the card look cheap when you're giving it to someone. I'm not sure if it's showing up on there, but then you have at least three edges of your card that just look like you just tore it out of a book. I don't know, so it doesn't look like a nice card to me. Now, I did snip the edge off of this card right here, but it's really hard for me to cut straight. I don't have a paper cutter. And um, so anyway, I don't like that those have the perforated edge. 
I think it really makes them look cheap. So all these cute cards came in there, but you have to tear them out and they have that edge. If you have a paper cutter, you could probably fix that much more easily. But here is the bigger problem. The cards don't fit in the envelopes. So what it is, is some of these cards fit in the envelopes. Like this one hasn't been cut and it fits. This one I cut and it fits. This one like will not fit. I mean, I, I'm going to have to cut it. It's going to rip the envelope. And the one that my son used for his birthday party was also like that. And we were in a rush getting ready for the party and the card would not fit. And we had to cut it down after he already wrote in it. And, you know, you just don't want those things to happen. So I think they really need to make sure their cards fit in the envelope. They need to not be perforated. So I wouldn't buy this book personally. I don't need this um, huge, expansive gift wrapping stuff. It had some useful things in it, but I wouldn't buy it because a lot of the book are these cards and I don't like the edges and they don't fit in. Some of them don't fit in the envelopes. So that was the winter surprise box. And I say that's a miss because they definitely failed on these. Okay, this um, washi paper tape, which she sells all different kinds of on her site. This one was in the fall box, and this one was a sneak peek, so this one is available on her site. Um, I've used a lot of washi tape from Target. I have not used any of her paper tape before. I don't love this paper tape. To me, it hardly sticks. Um, I know you want to be able to remove washi, but this just, it it pretty much just almost doesn't stick to me. And so I would never buy more of her tape. It's cute tape, but it's it's not sticky enough for me. Okay, now these cards came in some of her random surprise boxes, but you can buy a lot of her cards. You can buy a lot of her cards. So I will say this about her cards. They are very good quality. These envelopes are much better quality than those brown paper ones that came in the gift wrap set. These envelopes are good quality. The cards always fit. The cards don't have that perforated edge. They look beautiful and they come with a seal, which I think just makes the card look really nice. I don't love some of these cheesy slogans on them, maybe just because I'm 40. Um, but I, I like just more of the plain cards, but I think they're really pretty and some of the slogans are fine. And motivations and so her cards are nice if you want to keep some cards on hand to give out the ones that come in the surprise boxes they're nice but I have to say this I think cards have come in every surprise box that I've gotten I'm looking right now um, let's see yep they've come in every single one of these surprise boxes so three surprise boxes in a row and I've gotten cards in each one I've already used some of them but one card per box would be fine, but I kind of don't want that much of my box taken up by cards. Not even one card per box, I feel like. Don't send cards every time because these are supposed to feel like a special box and a special surprise. And if you're sending cards in every single box, that does not feel special or like a surprise. That's, that's just me. Okay, these adhesive patches. I have used one. Let me find the notebook and show it to you. So um, her spring seasonal surprise box came with these adhesive patches. I honestly didn't think I would use any of them. Um, but when I was using this Erin Condren hardbound journal, which I love her hardbound journals, by the way, they're just lined pages or you can pick dot grid pages. There's a different colored flag on every single page. Um, I wish the flags weren't on there, to be honest, because they get in my header way. I, I could do without the flags. Um, I love the end pages. They're beautiful. These make a beautiful gift. They come with a ribbon. And she also now, um, the pages are also edged to look really beautiful to match them. And she also makes some with prints and motivational sayings on them now. So I love these hardbound little notebooks from Erin Condren and they're just the right size to throw in a bag or a purse if you just want something with you all the time to write lists or notes, grocery lists. So I love these notebooks. They can also be used as journals. They can be used for so many things. So I stuck my Hello Lovely one on here and I actually love it. So I'm testing it out to see how well the wear goes and if it actually stays on. Um, I hope it does. But So I actually love that one. 
I'm not sure where I will use these. I do love the bird, but I'm not sure about the design of that flower. I love it. I don't love it. I know that right off. But I'm wondering if it would look better like once I stick it on something because I didn't think I loved the Hello Lovely so much until I stuck it on this notebook. And then I was like, oh, I do love that. So who knows, if I stick it on the right thing, I might love it. Although I don't want adhesive patches in any more of my boxes. That's kind of the thing. I don't want repeat things in my boxes like that. And these items I feel like are real specialty items and people will either love them or people will just not use them. And so I hope they don't come in other boxes. That's just me. All right, let's get our next pile up. So Erin Condren little notepads. I love them. They are good gifts. You can get people's name on them. I just put, for me to use this for a list, um, I just put a every day is a fresh start quote on there. But these are really thick. They come in sets of two. This is my favorite size for just a list. It's her smallest one. And like I said, it's a really nice gift to personalize for someone, I think. Having their name on there, I've done that some. And you pick any, you know, whatever you want at the top out of all her designs. So it's just a really nice personal gift, I feel like. And everyone can use a notepad. They're thick and they're great quality. And I use mine all the time. So it makes a list feel special. I love her seasonal sticker book. This is her newest one. It's called Edition 3. And so it's just a page per month of seasonal stickers to use in your planner, in your journal, wherever you want to use them. But each month either has gold foil or silver foil or rose gold foil. And it also goes with the colors that she uses in her life planner, the colors of that month in her life planner. So I like that because it coordinates with the life planner and they're just beautiful, I think. And it's just nice little touches. If you don't want to go looking for a whole bunch of different stickers, like this has you covered for a month, you can have some cute touches in your planner and make it feel seasonal and special with the holiday of that month. And you don't have to buy a whole lot or keep up with a lot of stickers or spend a whole lot. So I love her seasonal sticker book. All right, her tabs. Let me get my monthly deluxe. I wanted to talk about these if these were a hit or miss because I get a lot of questions about these. Um, I don't love that her monthly deluxe does not come with tabs. This is my monthly deluxe I'm using for tracking spending. And I actually have not done a full video on how I'm using it yet, but I do have a video saved in my Instagram stories highlight reel. I have a video saved on this budget notebook up there in Instagram stories. And I am going to do a full video for my channel on it very soon. I wanted to use it for several months before I did a full YouTube video on it. And I have been, now I've been tracking spending for three months. And so we will do a video soon. Here are how the tabs look when they are on. Her monthly deluxe, the months only have, so you have a month, and then you have two pages in between, and then a dot grid, and then the next month starts. So you don't have a whole lot of pages in between, but I do like to be able to flip through my months. I really wish for the price that this monthly deluxe came with tabs, nice tabs built in like her life planner. I am really hoping for that in the future. Even just for 2019, I'm hoping for that. But she sells these tabs, they are $8. I feel like it is a ripoff. They're good quality tabs, but I don't love the way they look on the page. They really cheapen the planner to me. She sells them in all black for your neutral colored planners also. But they really cheapen the planner to me. They work perfectly. They have not come off. They function perfectly. They weren't hard to put on, but I don't want to pay eight extra dollars and put on tabs that look subpar when I am paying for an Erin Condren planner. So that is just my opinion. I don't know why she wouldn't add tabs to this planner. So I don't know, but I think they're overpriced and you're paying too much when you're paying for a monthly deluxe to have to pay $8 for tabs. But I wanted tabs, so I did it. So they work well, but that's my take on them. 
Now, um, these zipper pouches was something else I was going to talk about. They come with every life planner and I actually love them. So I use them for different things. I use them for different things outside of the planner. So I love those pouches. All right, let's talk about her sticker sheets. I recently threw in sticker sheets just to make my order go up to free shipping, basically. And then I kind of fell in love with them. Some of her sticker sheets you can choose your own colors on. I do not use the whole set on like one weekly layout because I am a really functional planner and that takes up way much, way too much room in my opinion. Um, but I like to use it here or there. Um, and I really love her mid-century circles. So I got this one. I got this one thinking of June. We'll see if I use it this June or not. Um, I love the 4th of July and I like to decorate the whole month of July. So I actually bought these two to put together for the entire, you know, four weeks of July. And I bought this for like starting back to school in August or September mode whenever I feel like using it to try to make me excited since I never want to start back to school. And then I bought her new, um, I think she calls them painted pumpkins kind of starting off October. I feel like that's a good early October one before you actually get to Halloween. I love Halloween. Um, even though Texas is always still usually blazing hot in October, I like to try to bake myself that it feels like fall and this for November. And then December, I think I got a couple. I love this one. I love this white poinsettia one. Oh my goodness. I just love the way it looks on the page. And then I love her little gingerbread house. So October, December, we're going to be fully decorated. I changed the colors on this one. And as you can see, I used some this year in my planner, but I still have some left because I don't cover my page with stickers. So I changed the color on this heart one and I love it for Valentine's. Absolutely am in love with that one. And then I got some of these because I have used them before when you have the 12 boxes at the front of your planner and you want to name them for months. Um, since I don't have super neat handwriting, I sometimes like to use these. I have used them in the past. And like I said, I just added on these stickers from like two different orders to just make each order reach um, the free shipping. But I do like these stickers. If you like stickers, um, there's just so many options she has. So many holidays and you can change the colors on so many. It's just really fun. Okay, covers. I love Erin Condren covers now. And I will say um, my weekly planner stays open on my desk all the time. So I rarely see the cover on that one. But my monthly deluxe planner that I use and my journaling planner that I use. So some of her other planners I use, the covers do get shut. So I do get to see those covers and have fun with them. This one I designed. I changed her color on. I'll just flip through all my covers really fun, quickly for fun. I don't love what I chose there. I'm not loving it. And I just don't like the font. But you couldn't change the font. But I did Happy Spring. And then... Um, I like this one for spring. Every day is a fresh start. I put on there. I love this one um, because I put a favorite scripture on there. All things shall work together for your good. And I like the gold foiling on it. And I like her watercolor. So I just think that's a really pretty one. I love this cover, but I don't love the font on it. But it seemed calming and like summer and like the ocean to me, which I love. And so I put be still because that is what I'm constantly craving in my life. I'm craving still quiet time alone. So, all right. I did one for the 4th of July. And a, most of these I actually got when she was doing buy one, get one free cover sales. And so that's when I would throw them in my orders when I needed a little bit more for free shipping. So definitely if you want more covers... Off and on, she's always running those buy one, get one free cover sales. And if you're doing an order already at the same time as those sales, then that is the best time to get them. So I changed the colors on this one. I don't have that many metallic covers because to be honest, you guys, I don't like paying the extra for metallic covers. I just don't, especially since I've said I don't see my covers a whole lot. So I didn't pick the metallic fireworks and I think this one turned out cute anyway. I put USA on there. 
And then I just, I love Halloween. I like this cover. I think it's so cute. And that's what the inside of the covers look like. They all have dashboards, which you can write on with wet erase markers, or you can write on them with Sharpies, and you can take them off with alcohol or fingernail polish remover. So in case you're not familiar with that. And then her pumpkins, and I just put pumpkin time. I like this one, fun for fall. I love the grateful and thankful. I love that one. And this one came in her fall seasonal surprise box and was an exclusive, I think. Let's double check that. Yes, so it was never sold on her site. And I really like it. It's pretty fall leaves with a lot of gold foiling on there. So really pretty. This is one of my favorites. And I got it when Christmas was already over this year. So it is definitely going on, um, on a planner cover that I will see this Christmas season. I don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan of the poinsettia itself, but I just like her design on this. And then I put deck the hall. So I just put our last name and then um, our house address on there. And I just love that it says our address on this little gingerbread house. So that's a cute idea for you if you don't have, mind having your address on the cover of your planner. I love that one. Okay, this one I mentioned in another video already. I got it mainly because my nine-year-old son um, has just been loving llamas. And so not that he's gonna use it, but I just got it to be fun because I thought it looked like a fun January cover anyway. Um, and I didn't really have any cover that I felt like was January. So I changed the colors a tiny bit on this one and I got that one. And then I designed the colors on this one and I love it for the month of February. I just love her heart design. She did a really good job on that and you can change it to any colors. So I absolutely love this one for February and how that turned out. Okay, so those are my covers. I always think Erin Condren covers are worth it. Although, like I said, um, most of my covers have all turned out you know, I love them. This is probably my least favorite that I've designed, but sometimes you design it online and you just don't know how it's gonna look in person. So you just have to take that chance, I guess, if you're, if you're designing, if you're changing colors and doing that on the covers. Okay, her um, planning pack. Let's talk about this. Um, first of all, the planning pack came with a smell in it. It was a fishy smell in it, I'm not kidding. And I'm pretty sensitive to smells. So what I did was I pulled out the entire interior material because that is where the smell was from. And I literally hung this in my garage um, out there for like, I don't know how long, two months probably. It took quite a long time. I kept smelling it and it kept still was smelling to me. So I kept leaving it out there. So I left it in the garage for two or three months. I know that seems extreme. But I don't like smells and I don't like fishy smells and I didn't want all my pens to smell like fish. So I wanted to make sure it was out, but it, it left and it's fine now, but I think they need to figure something out from that. It's not just me because another subscriber wrote in that hers was like that. My sister's was like that. So it's not just that I got like a weird one with a fishy smell. Um, but other than the smell, it is a great functioning pouch. In case you don't know, it fits on the front of your planner. Since I am not on the go with my planner, I really have not used it like this, but you can stick it around just the front cover so you can still open and close your planner. And I've also seen people stick it around both covers to keep it shut, but this way you can still open and shut your planner and you can have all your pens with you. Um, this pouch is smaller. It won't carry pencils, FYI, or anything longer than your normal pen but it holds them all well, the zipper functions well, it feels good. And so I think this is a great pouch. And also, I mean, it's just, it's something to grab it by. There is a little pocket on the back. I'm not sure what you might wanna stick in there. Sorry, I wasn't showing that well, but if you're on the go, you know, you might want that pocket for something, your phone might fit in there. But I'm recording with my phone, so I can't try. But I like the Planny Pack. I think it's a good pen holder and it's a really smart design to fit on the front of your planner. So that's a thumbs up for that. 
Okay, let's talk about, I've talked about the bookmarks. I love her bookmarks. I just think they function so well. They pop in and out so easily. Okay, her ruler that comes with every life planner, I don't love because it's thicker. So when you're trying to write, there's bumps in your planner. It's harder to get in and out. Plus, it takes up your entire page. So this can be your page marker. But I do not use these for my page markers at all. I always use these and keep extras on hand of these little bookmarks. They are in all my Erin Condren's. And they just, they pop in and out so easily. They make it easy to mark a page. They don't make bumps. They don't take up much room on your page, like as you flip it from side to side. So it's not covering up a lot of information. I am a big, big fan of these little bookmarks from Erin Condren. Um, I tried one of her bookmark um, magnet page markers. It's very thin. It's very thin. And so it will fit on one page well. And it is thin, so it doesn't cause a lot of bumping or bulging. But number one, it's just not as easy for me to find as this. And these just function so much better to me. It's not, this is down, this pokes up some so I can find it. Also, I just flip to one side or the other if I'm writing on that page or this page. This one, if you want to write where it is, you actually have to move it. Um, I mean, I think this makes a great like bookmark for a book you're reading. It's just not my chosen thing for my planner. But I've used it in books that I've been reading before um, or then journals um, to mark my spot. So there are uses for these. It's just these are my favorite for planners. Okay, I use um, Apple phone boxes. You guys should never throw away your Apple phone boxes or Apple AirPod boxes. They are gold for organizing drawers for free. <laughs> Um, we always save all of ours and my son and I use them a lot in our desk drawers. So this is just an iPhone six box and, um, you can even use the bottom of the box where it looks like it's obstructed with the phone, like little holder stuck in there. My son easily pried that out with a pocket knife and like there was no damage. And then he covered the bottom of the box, um, in white cardstock really easily. Like you can't even tell it doesn't look any different from this. So we're kind of resourceful like that. But here is another planner favorite that is not from Erin Condren, but it was in this box, so I'll share it. It is a six inch Westcott ruler from Amazon. I've not tried other brands, but I particularly love this brand. It has the cork on the back. It just has a good weight, has a good feel. And I have a couple of these around in different pin holders and boxes because I am always needing a little ruler and you can't use a huge ruler in your planner to draw lines and such. And this works really well. So I highly recommend that. But that's not from Erin Condren. Sorry, that just got thrown in here. I love the Erin Condren dual tip markers. I have both sets, both color sets. And in her fall box, she actually gave you these special two exclusive colors. No, it was three, I think. Um, so these are not sold on her site. Let me look in the fall box. Thing and make sure yeah it was these three colors came in the fall box exclusive I really liked that I felt like that was something special and really useful I wish like three colors would come for every season in every one of her surprise boxes I love that so these are not all her colors because some are down um, in my desk being used right now I usually pull out the colors that I'm using for the next month or two and put them in my pen cup on my desk and I use them in my planner all the time. I love that it has the both tips to it. It has the fine tip. And it's just like a felt tip marker. And then a much, much thicker tip, tip for marking things. So I love her dual tip markers and have both colors. So that's a hit. As you can see, I had to gather things from all ends of my house for this video. Literally, I was going around pulling things apart because they're kept in all different places. Okay, her planner bands right here, I give a hit for. I bought the metallic pack, but I gave one to my littlest sister, so I don't have the rose gold anymore. But these two and the rose gold come in the metallic pack. Like I said, I gave her the rose gold, so um, 
if you are traveling with your planner, I think these are indispensable. They work great, they fit perfectly, they look good, they hold your planner together. You can, you can even stick a pen in here like that if you have your band on. And it's a really secure way to hold your pen. If you have the right kind of pen, like these G2s are, um, these Pilot G2s actually fit really well on the Erin Condren coil too, and they don't come off. But not every pen does that. Different pens will go on that coil, some won't, but that's just something to note. So the bands are a definite hit. I would definitely say if you need to hold your planner together, get the bands. Okay, her dashboards. She has a whole different kinds of dashboards. I think they're great. They're good for marking big spots in your planner. Like to me, not for the page I'm on, because I don't want something this big marking the page I'm on. But if you want to have it like in the back in your notes section, I think that's a great place to like flip to your notes quickly. And one idea is using it for meal planning, but with post-it notes, um, she also has a meal planning one. I just don't have it, and you could use the post-it notes on that one. If you don't want to have to erase it off every week um, with a wet erase marker or with this is Sharpie, then you can write your meals. These are one and a half inch by two inch post-it notes from Amazon, and I just cut them in half, and then the sticky side is always on that side. And then also you can move your meals around. If you decide that, oh, we didn't eat that this night or whatever. And you could also just keep a whole bunch of these, all your family favorite meals on like the back dashboard of your planner. So you don't even have to rewrite them. So you could like literally have a set of like 20 of your family's favorite meals already stuck here on the back dashboard of your planner. And you could have your meal dashboard stuck right here in your notes section and then every week you just look what you want to have on each day and you stick it on there and you put them back on the dashboard to save them and you don't have to rewrite them out. You can have one that says leftovers um, or a soccer game tonight and we're eating sandwiches or whatever. But you can just, you know, take them off and you can have all your family's favorite meals right here. So there's an idea for you about how to use a dashboard. But you can use a dashboard for so many other things too. That's just one idea. But it pops in and out easily. It's not something that's too hard. Um, and you can easily find it. When your planner is shut, I can easily flip to my dashboard. And then you still have the back of it too. So I say dashboards are a hit. Especially if you have a specific use for one that you need, I think they're great. Okay, we already talked about the planner pouch bag and the other planner. I don't think I mentioned the zipper slides really, really easily. You can actually fit way more in these pouches than you think. And even if you're not putting the um, little tabs on to hook it in your planner, which works well, you can store other things in it outside of your planner. Um, so it's just a good organizational thing. Okay, sticky notes. So, I forget what she calls these, but this hooks in your planner, so it's really convenient to have. I thought I would try one, even though I am in love with my post-its and the size of my post-its and how I cut them down for different things, but I just, I thought I would give this a try. I do not love it because the sticky does not last very long. Um, I pull it off. It feels like it has decent sticky, but it is nothing like post-it sticky. It, they, after being in my planner just a couple days, they all start just, they just start coming off. They don't stick well. So while they're cute for me, they don't stick well and that's not cool. So I'm just using them to write notes on that I'm going to throw away right away that I just, you know, need to jot something down really quick. Um, but I'm not using my planner because they all end up coming up and until she joins with the post-it people, and have them make them with their special sticky, I don't think I will ever, well I know, I won't be buying those again. Okay, so that's a big miss to me. Okay, we're almost done you guys. I think this last Erin Condren hit or miss. The colorful date dots. These came with my teacher planner. Let me show you. So the teacher planner or her undated new hardbound planner does not come with your months 
with dates filled in. I do not know why the teacher planner does not come with dates filled in. So it comes with these sticky dots. Um, and she has circles drawn in her planner. I wish she didn't have the circles in case you just want to write the date in. Because you can't write that small and then it doesn't look good. Because I tried it. Let me show you. So I wrote my dates in because I'm not a big fan of the stickers and sticking them all on. But with the circle already drawn on, it looks terrible. So in her planners that are not dated for these sticky dots, I am not a big fan of them. I'm just not. It's just me. I think they cheapen the look of the planner. I wish the numbers were printed on the teacher planner for the price. For the undated planner, I understand that you can't have the dates on it yet, but um, I'm okay with her selling the dots for that. They stick fine. They stick good, but I wish she didn't have the circles because then if you want to write it in, you could also. So that's my take on the colorful date dots, I guess. They work well. I just don't like the look of them in the planner. So, I think that wraps us up on our Erin Condren Hits and Misses. I tried just to do accessories and things that had come in these seasonal surprise boxes. Um, I have all kinds of videos on all her planners and what I think about each one of those. She has great paper. I love her planners. For the most part, I don't have big complaints about her planners, except for the things I've mentioned today, like the tabs and the date dots. Um, all right, so that's it. You guys, I would love to hear your hits and misses from Erin Condren down below. Um, tell me your biggest miss down below or your biggest hit, and I would love to hear that. So let's share down below. All right, thanks for watching. Happy planning, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.